Here in Kenya, a lot of families suffer because of high poverty levels. They lack access to basic needs, for example, education, food, good shelter, access to health facilities, clean water for drinking and sanitation. Today, we are here on behalf of Desert Greening from Switzerland to make a change. This, this is Christine Jenga, a mother of 12 children. She lives in a village in Maweni Mtwapa, Kilifi County, Mombasa, Kenya. Her husband provides for the family, but she has no stable job. He hustles a day-to-day -day job to at least be able to afford a meal for the family. Unfortunately, he fell ill and he hasn't been able to provide. Neither can he provide for the family, neither can he be able to be taken to a hospital for facilities of medication. As schools are nearing to open, I worry is that he'll not be able to find money to pay. Our day was lifted up when we met Brian. Brian is a 13-year-old boy with special needs. His biological mother died when he was six months old and Brian has been living with Kabibi Kazungu, who is the second wife to his father. Kabibi Kazungu takes care of Brian every time and every day. Kabibi says that Brian has not been able to get proper education and the attentiveness he requires from a special school. Proper sleeping place and food has also been a problem. Most of the families that we visited did not have a good sleeping place, did not have proper clothing, and mostly they were not able to afford to pay the school fees for their children. Also, hunger was a big factor in the village. The housing conditions some are made up of metals, which is very hot during the hot season. Some are made up of the mud and stone for the walls and palm leaves for the roofing. The living condition, the mattresses, they don't have blankets to cover themselves, especially in the rainy season. For example, behind me, we have a school. This is one of the schools that the children come to study. It's not in a good state, and we have heard that they are struggling in terms of finding school fees. It is nice if we start this organization to help the students and to help the family at large.